Gantt Chart is a great tool to plan your projects and effectively coordinate team resources. It works great for both project level planning when you need to coordinate tasks and milestones and larger scale initiatives when you need to connect multiple projects to build an entire roadmap. To access Gantt View, navigate to a project and switch to Gantt. First, let's review the navigation. To move around, click the empty area and drag the timeline. To change the timeline scale, use zoom buttons or click to select an option from the drop-down menu. To see the entire chart, click Fit to Screen. You can also switch to the full screen mode to have even more space. To show or hide the tasks within a subproject, click the arrow on the left. To show or hide tasks for all subprojects, click Expand or Collapse All. The current date is marked with a blue line. If you scroll, you can always jump to the current date by clicking Today button. To see more information on your work items, click Show Task List button. Just like in the Task List or Table View, you can edit any field by clicking it. To manage the displayed columns, click Columns button and select the required fields. If you need more space, you can resize the left panel. Let's set up a new project in the Gantt view. To create a new task, click the Add button and enter details. These new tasks don't have start end dates set yet, so their shape is different from scheduled tasks, with an arrow on the right. To set start date, drag the task to an appropriate date and resize to set the end date. Notice that after we've made changes, the refresh button appeared in the top right corner. Click it to automatically order items by start date. To add a dependency, mouse over the preceding task. Click the dot on the right and connect it to the dependent task. Notice that this particular dependency is marked red because the dependent task starts before the predecessor ends. To remove a dependency, click the dependency line and then click Delete. Dependencies help to automatically adjust the entire project timeline if a change occurs. For example, if we reschedule a task with dependencies, all related tasks will automatically shift as well. To manage auto-scheduling options, click Settings button. To learn more about Gantt auto-scheduling, visit Good Day Help Center. Let's add a few subtasks. Click the arrow button to open a parent task and click New Subtask. Because the parent is already scheduled, the subtask will automatically appear on the start date of the parent task. If you move the parent task, subtasks will be automatically rescheduled. If you schedule subtasks outside of the parent task timeframe, the parent task will extend with a shaded area, indicating that it will take longer than originally planned, based on the start and end dates of its subtasks. Now let's create a subproject. Working with subprojects is similar to working with tasks and subtasks. You can schedule, change duration, and create dependencies. To see or hide subproject tasks, click the arrow. Please note that if a subproject has no start end dates specified, it will automatically adjust to the dates of tasks within it. Let's review the advanced features of the Gantt chart. By default, tasks are sorted in chronological order by the start date. 
If you'd like to change this order, use one of the sorting options from the Sort By menu. If you have many tasks and want to narrow down your view, use filter options. You can filter tasks by different criteria, such as task type, action required user, assignee, and more. The advanced Gantt view settings are available in the settings menu. For more options such as export, import, or sharing, click more button. Now you know the basics of working with Gantt view. To learn more, visit Good Day Help Center. Have a good day.